Hi, my name is Ben Marks from Venture Caravans and today I'm going to be showing you around this 2015 Auto Sleeper Symbol fan conversion. So the Auto Sleeper Symbol is based on the medium wheelbase Peugeot Boxer chassis. It's got a Euro 5 150 brake horsepower engine, so it's nice and powerful. And it's also got three travelling seats as well. So you can see it's nice and attractive van. So the front of the vehicle, it's got LED daytime running lights, which make it look nice and modern. And it's also got that nice large front grille, which gives it that sporty look. So I'll show you around the, the outside of the, the van now. So just at the top there, it's been built with a fuel Omnistore awning from the factory. So it's a nice wind out awning, so in the summer, or even the winter, you can enlarge your space of the van, have a nice set of chairs outside, and enjoy the weather. It's also got 15 inch alloy wheels fitted. Then at the rear, it's also got an external gas lock, gas point, sorry. So that'll aid to connect to barbecue and do some cooking outside. So I'll just zoom out again. So you can see it's got some nice auto sleeper graphics all the way around the vehicle. Makes it really stand out. As well, you've got the nice blacked out privacy glass as well, all the way around. So the bottom there, we've also got a mounted tow bar with 13 pin tone electrics. And at the top, it's also been fitted with a full color reversing camera that displays onto a mirror inside the cab and I'll show you that a bit later on. So moving around again, we've got the fridge vents. Then at the top we've got a vent for the microwave that's built in and also an extractor fan that's been fitted with this model in the factory. So we look down towards the bottom of the motorhome, we've got our mains inlet feed there. So that provides the 230 volt power to the motorhome. And then just next to that, it's also been fitted with the MaxView TV point at the factory. So if you visit a site that's got any TV facilities, you can utilise those. As well as the TV aerial that's already fitted to this motone. So as we go around, we've also got the Truma, Truma flu just there. It's actually gas flu for the boiler. And if we move around, on this particular model, it's got an onboard tank which is 60 litres for the fresh water as well as a wastewater tank but you can also use a pump straight into a water container like you would in a caravan and draw water that way push that through. this model's also got a 20 litre LPG tank mounted underneath the floor of the vehicle so you don't need to carry any gas bottles you can just drive to a petrol station most petrol stations will sell LPG gas and you can just fill up that way. So we'll go back to the front. It's a nice view of the motorhome again. Really stunning this one. Especially in the silver paint with the black detailing. And then the nice, almost a matte grey effect on the awning and the stickers as well. So another feature to mention on this motorhome is the Alco air top suspension. So combined with the dual leaf spring system on the boxer, it's also got the Alco air suspension which helps to smooth out the ride and provides extra stability. So that's just you've got some dials there and that's how you uh, adjust the suspension as well. So this van really has got a lot of additional specification on it. So it's moving to the front inside of the vehicle, sorry. Got a nice sliding door. That will slide open and click back. And it's also got an electrically operated step. So on the outside control panel, so you've got the top button, for the electrically controlled step. You've got a 230 volt socket. So that allows you to plug a TV or a fridge inside uh, the wind out awning. 
and then you've also got two light switches. So one of the light switches controls these nice blue LED accent lights, nice entrance light when you walk into the motorhome at night, as well as the large LED awning light there as well. So this model's also got an 80 watt solar panel fitted. So constantly be topping up the leisure battery. So when you go off the night, you could always leave the awning light on without a worry that it's gonna drain the battery. So as you can see, the interior of the vehicle here with the kitchen towards the rear and the bathroom on the back near side. So the auto sleep is a two berth model. So you've got this bed here forms one bed and this one here will slide forwards and provide a second bed for two individual fixed beds but you can also make them into a large double bed and sleep across the vehicle if you decide but even with the twin fixed beds you've also always got the corridor in the middle that you can walk through and get to the kitchen and the bathroom without disturbing anyone else so the lounge area is quite large on this vehicle you've also got the two swivel passenger and driver seat as well so you can comfortably seat around five to six people in there without having too much of a squeeze I'll show you the inside now so on the cupboards as well it's got a nice almost light beach effect wood then you've got the dark gloss effect of the wood to complement it looks really nice so we'll go to the back of the kit ki ki uh, the motor I'm sorry towards the kitchen so the first feature, you've got a built-in microwave and then moving down we've got an oven and grill combination oven, a three gas burner hob with some nice heat shields and a glass lid so you can really maximise the worktop space when you're not using the grill as well as a 12 volt Dometic extractor fan with some lighting there to provide extra light to the kitchen. So that just helps get rid of any cooking smells when you're using the cooking facilities. So auto sleeper also fitted a nice wire draining rack and bracket. So when you are drying your things in the motome, you can store your plates and cups in there as well. But it always comes away. It sits neatly in the sink when you're not using it. Fold these away. As you can see, nice flat workspace. Which then also, you got another workspace on top of the fridge. So within the fridge, it works on 230 volt gas and 12 volt. So it's a nice, decent sized fridge. The freezer box in there as well. And a nice touch from Auto Sleeper. They also supply their branded glassware in there as well there we go so I'll just pan around just to show you the front of the motorhome looking from the rear got the nice light upholstery with the contrast in blue almost a dark navy colour so I'll show you to the bathroom so the bathroom's just opposite the kitchen it's got an integrated shower unit Dometic toilet fold-away wash and basin and a small cabinet that you can store medicines and th other things like that but the great thing the wash and basin always folds away so when you're not using it you've got a bit more space in there as well come back to the front this model is also fitted with a TV aerial on the roof and it's also got provisions for a mounted table that sits on the floor down there and they've cleverly stored the tabletop in this place down there so it's not in your way when you're not needing it but it's easy to access when you do need it so it's also got fully integrated blinds so you've got the fly screens at the top and the concertina blinds at the bottom and that's also mirrored on the roof lights within the motorhome as well. So we've got a smaller roof light towards the kitchen, 
But as we look round towards the front, you got a nice large wind up roof light as well there. And I'll just show you round the motorhome again. So moving on to the cab side of things, obviously being a motorhome is quite important with what you get on the cab. So you've got a full DAB radio, um, so it's got Bluetooth connectivity as well as an AUX lead and a USB connection. It's got front and rear fog lights, it's got cruise control, so you've got the cruise control controls there. We've also got air conditioning. A nice black dash there as well. Another feature to mention you've also got the integrated cab lines at the front there so they'll pull out and seal off the cab area so when you're sleeping at night you've got a bit of privacy but in the morning especially in the summer you're not being woken up when the sun rises so it stays nice and dark inside the motorhome when you need it to be. So this particular model's also got Truma blown air heating, so it's got a number of outlets distributed around the motorhome. So you've got one there, got one down there, and there's also one located in the bathroom as well. So the heat's nice and distributed around the, car the motorhome, sorry. So this particular mo model is very low mileage, it's only done just over 9,980 miles so it's hardly been used and the interior is in perfect condition obviously you've got the Truma gas and electric heater controls for your water and your heating as well as a nice auto sleeper digital display it will tell you all the information such as how much fresh water you've got how much waste water you've got now, also control the lights, the pump, and also all your 12 volt systems. And then just towards the back of the caravan, you've also got a mounted TV bracket and then a 12 volt socket with satellite and a coax lead as well. So you've got a nice place to store the TV as well. I'll show you inside the wardrobe as well. So you've got a nice large wardrobe with a good sturdy hanging rail so you can hang plenty of clothes in there. And then lower down the caravan you've also got a drawer just under the cushions there as well. Okay. So this is the 2015 Auto Sleeper Symbol and I'd like to thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you again soon. Bye.